Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing good. Um, in today's video, I just wanted to go through, I talk about diet a lot in my videos, and obviously I'm on the best bet diet um, to combat my MS. So I wanted to go through with you what I typically eat in a day, um, what I'm having for breakfast, lunch, dinner, all that kind of stuff, what kind of snacks, because I know the diet's quite restrictive, so I've had a lot of messages kind of saying, what do you actually eat? Because you can't eat dairy, can't eat gluten, can't eat legumes, soy, all that kind of stuff. So what can you eat? Because I'm actually really happy. I really enjoy the diet. Um, I'm really used to it now. There are obviously a few things that I do miss um, from my old diet, but you know it's all worth it at the end of the day. So yeah, in this video, I'm just going to go through everything that I eat in the average day. If you like the video, as always, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more informative videos like this about my journey with MS. I used to So just as a quick recap then, if you haven't checked out my other videos, I'm on the best bet diet for overcoming MS, which was developed by Dr. Ashton Embry. Um, it was developed because his son was diagnosed with MS at 19, and his son now has been on the diet ever since the diagnosis and is basically symptom free after like 25 years later. So it's an incredible story, which persuaded me to really look into it and eventually go on the diet. And so the diet draws from a lot of the other MS diets that are out there. So there's a, it's kind of building on years of work and information that's now available about the factors within the diet that can affect MS and affect the disease progression and also just how it starts in the first place. So with the best bet diet, you're really, you're cutting out gluten, so no gluten at all in the diet, no dairy, so nothing at all that's made from dairy products, so checking the labels, make sure there's no milk in anything that you're eating. Um, no legumes, so that means no soy, no peas, no beans, no lentils, all sorts of things like that. We're cutting out all of refined sugars essentially, so no sweets, uh, candy, whatever you call it, uh, chocolate, things like that. Um, and then you're really kind of, you're dropping the sugar as much as possible. So really only having sugar within fruits, things like that. So nothing, no like sweet treats as well, like I said before, sweets and candy, stuff like that. And essentially on top of that, you're just trying to eat as much plant-based food as possible. So a load of leafy green vegetables, as much as them as you can get, because they're just really great for your overall health. Um, and then you're keeping really to sort of lean meats when possible and trying to eat liver or organ meat maybe once a week because those are so nutritious. Um, and so you end up with this really quite well-rounded uh, diet really that's really quite healthy and I think that I managed to make it really enjoyable and really tasty day in day out so without further ado let's get into what I eat on the average day on the best bet diet to attack my MS. Right then start every day with a cup of tea as is the usual here in the UK. Um, in terms of the dairy free milk that I use I use Oatly um, it doesn't say on the packaging that it is gluten-free, but on the website it says that it is very low, but they can't guarantee it is gluten-free. But my sister's celiac, and she's really sensitive to gluten, and she can have Oatly, so that means, for me, it must be fine in terms of having, and it's definitely the tastiest um, milk alternative, in my opinion, for tea. So, get through a lot of that stuff. Hey guys, so it's time for my first meal of the day. So I do intermittent fasting every day. So I don't eat until just gone one o'clock. So I'll have my cup of tea in the morning that I showed you. Um, I might have two if I'm needing extra bit of caffeine. Um, and then I'll go to the gym during my lunch break. And then I'll come back and have some quick lunch, um, which is what I'm about to eat now, about 1.15. So I, I always fast till at least one, one o'clock. Um, and then that's when I'll have lunch. So I've just had a gym session and now it's time to get some egg on toast ready. Here is my lunch slash breakfast, whatever you want to call it. Um, so today just two fried eggs on gluten-free toast. So I've cooked the eggs in extra virgin olive oil because that's just super healthy um, in terms of healthy fats that I like to get in. Um, and then I usually try to get some vegetables in my lunch as well, but today I'm having a smoothie, so you'll get to see that in a bit, but time to tuck into this. And as you can see, it looks very tasty. Just having a little snack now on some walnuts and some sultanas because 
Walnuts have got some great fiber and it's a nice healthy fat source once again. Um, and then the raisins just make it taste really good as well. And I like to have that before I take my vitamin D supplement because vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin. So it's much better absorbed when you've got good fats. So that's why I like to have extra virgin olive oil with my fried eggs and then also the walnuts as well, just to make sure that vitamin D is getting absorbed properly. So that lunch was really tasty. I'm just gonna have a coffee now and I'm gonna have my supplements that I take at lunchtime as well. So I'll just show you what they are. So I'm taking, just after my lunch, I have two of these vitamin D3 tablets, that's 8,000 IU altogether, then a multivitamin and a cod liver oil tablet as well. Now it's coffee time. No day is complete without a bit of coffee. Next thing eating today then is this vegetable smoothie, mainly vegetable, fruit and vegetables. So it's mainly spinach, banana, apple, um, carrots, and apple juice I've used to mix it, just to give it a bit of sweetness as well, um, all with water. So, oh, and some ginger in there as well, some fresh ginger. So really healthy, good way of getting loads of leafy greens in by getting all that spinach down me. So in a nice, easy way to eat it. Delicious. I find smoothies like this just a great way to get those leafy green vegetables down me because I don't really like the taste of spinach or kale and things like that. So by whacking it all in a smoothie, it's just a really easy way to get loads of nutrients in. I fill it out with things like carrots, like I said there. Sometimes put celery in and you can chuck all sorts of fruits and other vegetables in and it still comes out tasting pretty good. Tonight's dinner then, I'm just cooking away now. I'm doing some lamb's liver. His liver is super nutritious, super healthy. Um, coated in some gluten-free flour, of course. And then I've got some red cabbage on the go, which is being cooked in apple cider vinegar and a bit of balsamic vinegar and a bit of garlic as well. And then I'm also microwaving a big sweet potato. So it should be a really, Delicious and nutritious meal tonight. Here we have the finished dinner then. Liver, sweet potato and red cabbage. Um, the liver doesn't look particularly appetizing. <laughs> I know it's not everyone's cup of tea either, but I mainly have it just because it's so healthy and so nutritious. Um, so it's definitely worth trying to eat at least sort of once a week if you can. Um, but you can make it really tasty as well and hopefully this is gonna be just as tasty. Oh, feeling pretty full now after that dinner, which was really nice, really satisfying. Um, now I'm just going to take my evening supplements. So I take some turmeric, which is shown to be good at reducing inflammation, turmeric and black pepper tablets. And I also take a uh, probiotic and also an alpha lipoic acid tablet, which is basically an amino acid that's been shown to be important in rebuilding the myelin so that's why I take those supplements. We're getting towards the end of all the eating now I'll probably have a little snack in a bit I'm trying to work out what I'm going to have but I guess you'll see in a second. It's about 8 30 now in the day and I'm about to have my final little snack dessert if you will um, just after dinner just a little sweet treat that I like so I'll just show you what that is now. So we've got here pizza gluten-free toast with a little bit of honey and then some almond, smooth almond butter um, laced on top and then some sliced banana on top of that. And it is really nice. It's a really nice little sweet treat, but obviously no refined sugars. It's obviously still a bit naughty with the honey, but you know, you gotta have your sweet treats occasionally. And then this is a drink that I have instead of like Coke or Diet Coke or something, because I don't, Obviously on the Best Bet diet, you don't have any sweeteners and you're not allowed to write fine sugars. So what this is, is a, uh, an alternative that I found actually on the Dr. Gundry podcast. He talked about it because um, I listened to a lot of his stuff. And it's a tablespoon, you won't believe this, but it's a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar topped up with sparkling water. <laughs> now it might sound weird right now because it did to me when I first heard it, but after a few tries, I was hooked. First sip was a bit weird, now I love it. Chin chin. Mm. Beautiful. It's worth adding as well that I've had a couple of rice cakes throughout the day that I've forgotten to mention on here. Um, I just tend to have these when I'm snacking. They're really good actually, they're from Aldi. They're flavored caramel flavor. 
Um, but similarly, they've got no sweeteners, um, but they're quite nice and filling. So it's a really good little snack that I have, just one, maybe two throughout the day, just to keep me going, because I'm a big lad. I need filling up. Um, but that that's pretty much, that rounds up the whole food for the day. So that is pretty much what I eat. Not every day, I, every day is different for me. Um, but yeah, that's a good example of what I do eat on the Best Bet diet. And as you can see, I still get to eat a lot of nice foods. I'll definitely do one another day because I know that liver isn't everyone's favorite. And um, so it probably, it might not have looked that appetizing thinking about it, but <clears throat> you know, so I'm, I might try and do it another day as well. Um, so let me know if you'd like to see that. Let me know if you've got any questions, if you've got any pointers on what I've eaten, if you've got any thoughts, if you've got any, um, are there any meals that you have? I know that I struggle to get vegetables in at lunchtime. So if anyone out there is on the best bet diet or on any other diet and they do manage to get loads of vegetables in with their lunchtime, then please let me know because that's why I tend to have the smoothies at the minute because I haven't got many alternatives. So I usually have either the eggs on toast or I have like mackerel on toast for lunch, but I know that, you know, I could be improving there. The diet could be better. So please do let me know in the comments below. And once again, if you like the video, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And I'll catch you soon. I used to like seeing you in town Now it's strange when you're not around